Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Tiffany here and today I'm going to be filming a DIY or how to do your own nails at home. My nails are currently disgusting and short and make my fingers look even more chubby than they really are. <sighs> Doesn't make it even more chubby, it just enhances the chubbiness of my finger. Also, don't mind this, um, I had a really bad injury at the gym, so it's currently in the process of healing. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, stay tuned and we will get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need for this are the KISS 100 Full Cover Nails. They look like these. Um, I have two of them in different shapes. This one is the active oval and this one is the active square. I usually go for the oval shape. I don't know, I feel like it just makes my nails look a little bit more natural um, and they're not too long, which I really like. But if I'm kind of looking for more of the like acrylic kind of look, I will use the active squares. Um, and it's not like too, too square. It kind of looks like a coffin, sort of. Um, and if it's not as coffin-y as you would like, you can also file them to your liking. So um, I think today I'm going to go with these. And inside of these nail kits, you have um, different sizes to best fit your nail. And it also comes with the glue. And the glue inside here is super strong. I haven't had any problems with it. If you have your own kind of glue that you like to use, go ahead and use that. But I feel like this glue is strong enough to last me about two weeks. Okay, so everything you're going to need is the nails from KISS, 100% um, acetone, a nail buffer, nail file, these things I had, what is this, a cuticle, cuticle clipper or something like that, and a cuticle pusher. I have no idea what this is called either, honestly. <laughs> Your choice of nail polish, I am going to be using Orly in the color white. You're also going to need a dry fast top coat and a base coat if you guys prefer. I really don't think it's that necessary with um, glue-ons, so I skip out. And then cuticle oil. So the first thing I do is take my acetone and I put it on a paper towel instead of a cotton a cotton round because the cotton rounds tend to leave lint all over your nails and paper towels don't so I put it on paper towel and just prep my nail by removing all of my um, nail polish that I had on before After I remove all the old nail polish, I basically take my cuticle pusher, start pushing back the cuticles on my nails, and it kind of gets rid of all the dead skin around there, and it'll basically help you prep to cut the cuticles off of your nails. You definitely want to make sure to do this gently. Don't damage your nails because you definitely can do that. So. Um, I don't explain how to do this in depth, so definitely watch a tutorial if you're unsure of how to do this. After I push all my cuticles back, I then start with cutting my cuticles. You really want to be careful with this part again because your cuticles are very sensitive and you can nip yourself, especially because these tools are pretty sharp. Trust me, I have done it before and it hurts really bad. It kind of feels like a paper cut. So be careful with that. Look it up again if you need to. You don't have to do this, but I definitely recommend washing your hands after this step just so you get all the dust and dead skin off of your hands before you start gluing on the nails. So this is where I start sizing the nails to my actual nail. Um, they come with a lot of good sizes. I just recommend making sure you take your time with this. Make sure you pick a nail size that fits from end to end. You don't want it to be too big or too small, um, but it's pretty easy to find the perfect fit. I also find that it's easier to lay them out on the table after sizing. Um, 
in like a way where you would put them on your nail just so it's all organized and easy and you're not messing up the sizing and just getting yourself confused because that has happened to me a lot of times also the sizes can look pretty similar so just watch out for that and now it's time to glue them on your nails um, a lot of people recommend filing down your nail before you glue it on just so it helps with the nail sticking for longer but I don't do that I don't want to damage my nails even more than they already would be after using this but just put one little dot of glue on your nail before sticking it on don't put too much it'll slide everywhere and it'll get sticky everywhere and that's not good and this glue is really really strong um, but once you glue it on you just want to press on your nail and hold it for about three to five seconds just to make sure it's all secure I also recommend not gluing all the way up to your cuticles because it will hurt kind of like if you got a full set before of acrylics the next day if your fingers are really sore that's gonna that's what it's gonna feel like so just be careful of that um, I kind of like put it down a little bit lower than my cuticles and it also makes it look a little bit more natural so now is when you're gonna want to start cutting down your nails if you think they're too long or you could even file them down to your desired shape. Um, I kind of wanted mine a little bit more coffiny than they already were, so that is what I'm doing. I'm just filing down the sides a little bit to make it more skinny on the ends. Now is my favorite part, which is painting the nails because I find it to be so therapeutic. I'm using the shade um, white um, from the brand Orly. Um, I really, really like this, and I was it was on sale at Target for like literally four dollars or something like that. But I always choose white just because it makes my nails look really clean and look more professional. And because my skin is obviously tan, um, it just makes my nails stand out more. So just go ahead and paint them I'm doing my first layer now and then I go ahead and do a second layer after that just to make the color look a lot more opaque also don't be afraid of getting on your skin or like the sides of your cuticles you can always go back and fix it just like I did right here I just cleaned it up a little bit it's really simple so don't even worry about it here is just a clear um, fast drying top coat on top of my nails this is so essential to me because of how impatient I get when it comes to drying my manicure um, this literally makes my nails get dry in a matter of minutes and I kid you not minutes okay so if you're exactly like me you need to get this right now it's also really shiny and just makes your manicure look a lot more professional and just put together, you know? And once your nails are dry to the touch, this is when you're going to want to go in with your cuticle oil. I use mine from Sally Hansen. It works just fine, really. Just apply it at the top of your cuticles and make sure to massage it in just to keep your cuticles like really moisturized, especially after using acetone. It can get really dry. Okay, guys, I am done with my nails. I am so happy with them. Of course, I chose white white is my forever color if i could do a different color white i would definitely do like a milky kind of white that's like my go-to go-to but the one that i have is kind of dried out right now and i haven't got a second bottle since then so these kiss um full cover nails the 100 set are absolutely amazing i don't remember the last time i actually got my nails done because of how just good they look like i feel like i used to pay i don't know 50 dollars to get my nails done to look exactly like this 
and this pack is like seven dollars at most i get mine at target but it's also cheaper if you go to walmart i've seen it there also um and yeah honestly these are absolutely amazing i 100 percent recommend this to everybody if you're trying to save a little bit of coin and not get your nails done especially in this pandemic you kind of really want to go out only for like essential things so go to target or walmart or whatever and get these i'm telling you right now now i'm not going to stop showing off my nails and as you can tell my hands are still chubby but they look a lot slimmer because of the longer nail length i hate my natural nails because i can never grow them out myself and yeah they're just too weak and brittle by the way i know i'm not a nail professional by any means i am so amateur everything i say take it with a grain of salt it's just what works for me um especially be careful when you're messing with your cuticles with these um tools because they can do some damage if not done correctly so definitely look up how to do that more in in depth because i didn't explain it in this video um and sometimes i mess up myself so anyway i hope you guys love this video i'm gonna leave all the products down below in a link so you guys can pick it up yourselves make sure to follow me on tiktok i have been doing a lot more bts related um, videos on there and it's just really fun. You guys had a good time watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!